The Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review is brought to you by... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review. Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review, and what are we reviewing today? Shutter Island. Shutter Island. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that from the shine, but there you go, Shutter Island with an all-star cast, pretty much what you Yeah, I mean, it's got Leonardo, Ben Kingsley, uh, DiCaprio. I've always been a big Ben, ben Kingsley fan. Yeah, big, big fan of uh, his. Uh, and of course, from Marvel Universe as the Hulk, we have. Uh, you know his name. You know his name more than Mark I do. Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, <laughs> he does an amazing job. But I've always actually he did a great job. Man. Well, that's the thing. I believed him as the Hulk more than any of the others. So yeah, um, but. He also had me on this one too. Oh yeah, because it's Shutter of, Island. Shutter Island is about this U.S. marshal yeah. you know, meeting his partner, and they go to this island. Yeah. It's a, a, a it's in the bay up in Boston. Yeah, Massachusetts. Uh, Massachusetts, right. Massachusetts, and it's a, a insane asylum, I guess you would say, or, or yeah. a yeah. mental health asylum yeah. for for the worst. Uh, criminals uh, for the criminal minds and uh, so he has to go and investigate a uh, murder and a missing person yeah thing. So and I mean and it's uh, and it's just one thing after, after another, another after like, another, another after and then another. and then if you get up in the middle of this movie and you miss something you're you're it's gone you're gone you you're, have no idea what's you got to go back and rewatch the whole it, thing it's one of those that you have to sit down and watch it, all the way through one sitting i will say that it is a psychological thriller thriller but to it's be, a psychological beatdown if you don't understand what's going on exactly to exactly and, and that's what was hard for me spot, the first dude, time once you miss it you miss any part yeah it's like what happened what happened yeah, yeah stop it right there and go back and start over and watch it again and then you'll understand yeah, what's happening. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to give the movie away. Oh, no, I don't. I don't. Do so but what I want, to, I want to do is just work on, on on the aspects of the movie. So we know it's, a, to me, it's a great movie. I love the atmosphere to the movie. It's got that great, creepy, rainy, Foggy. Well, it's supposed to have misty. a hurricane coming. Yeah, exactly. And they actually make it look like a hurricane come through. But also, the, the atmosphere of the asylum, but the atmosphere of it, it looks like... The lighthouse. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's just... I mean, it's just... And almost like you sit down and watch that into a darkened room, you can actually feel like you can smell the spray from... The, uh, the well, rocks like, you and You feel like yeah, darker. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. like you're... Yeah, you feel that. like you're just... Yeah, and that's what and, they had to say about the filmmakers on this. I mean, it was a it was a great movie. Besides, yeah, yeah, you know, besides messing with your with your brain at times. And um, you know, that's the thing with movies nowadays. I feel like they're they don't want to mess with your head as much as they used to. And this right here is one of the very rare exceptions, I believe. I mean, it's uh, I mean, it, it, it takes you in, uh, and you get in. You get the aspect of, and this is what I do like about it, because you get the aspect of several versions of the people in the movie. Yeah. You get, first, you get the aspect of, of Lyd, 
Leonardo uh, DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio is person as that U.S. Marshal. Yeah. But then you get it from, you start seeing it from other people's perspective. And him being very erratic. Yeah. And, and that's why, I guess that's why I think I actually like it so much because the writer knew exactly what they were doing when they, when they took this hint. Yeah. And then yeah. to have the filmmakers come in and play off the off the writers. Yeah. On mindset and concept is. Oh, yeah. It's, it's extraordinary. Yes, yes you know, it is. It's, as far as a cinematic uh, uh, view, I mean, the things that happen in, in the timelines. Yeah. Like I said, sometimes it can get confusing because that's why you have to sit there and watch. But when you're watching it, you can sit there and like, this, this, this is kind of can happen and it's kind of yeah. Well, it, it reminds me a lot of, I guess, um, in some ways, it kind of reminds me of those triple header movies from the 60s and 70s where you'll see somebody's perspective from one way and then midway through, you'll see it from a different person's perspective. And then in the third act, you're seeing things put together by the end. And so it's... But here, here's my thing, because you know, it is, it's, I mean, it, it's a drama mystery. Yes, yes, very much so. It's a... It can also be looked at as a uh, tragedy. Yes, yes, because uh, he lost his wife. But, what's it, we don't want to give it sorry, away. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to give it yeah. away. So spoiler. spoiler. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. So you know, um, so my whole thing on it is, is basically, it can be. This can be so many, fit in so many categories. Yeah. And, and I guess that's what I actually like um, about it. So, and I'm going to say, if you haven't seen Shutter Island. Uh, watch it. You need to watch it, especially if you want to get. But when you sit down, be prepared to stay the whole time and, and watch it. Yeah, I made the mistake of going be. to the theater and seeing it, and I saw part of it. Had to go to the bathroom, and I just couldn't hold it. Went to the bathroom, and then I was like, lost for the rest of the time. Yeah, <laughs> to go back and see it. So, but, but yeah, my whole thing is is that it's it does blow your mind. You do go to it does take you into certain aspect of thing to take you deep inside yourself and because you think sometimes on your own life is one thing that I found out what it did to yeah. me so I'm like man is this could like I could actually fit myself mm. into that character oh, oh like, same here same with me I, I felt like you know there are times you know I don't know what I'm doing and I feel like everything's a mystery yeah. you know what we forgot though we forgot to open up with our sponsor Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, our sponsor mm -hmm. is Game Store Moore in Marion, North Carolina. Game Store Moore, Marion, North Carolina. Make sure uh, to go by. They'll cut yeah, you a deal. Right they'll, they'll hook you up with the movies. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so my, my whole thing on this whole movie, man, is, is, is I actually liked it. There was no political BS scene to it. Yeah, there was nothing and it was political. Totally, there was nothing this. It was that. totally mind blowing. About it was good entertainment as well. I like entertainment. About the only really. thing that it has is ethics, as far as medical ethics. Medical ethics and how do you get people to go to a certain degree? Exactly. So I'll leave that to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's because all. Because you have to see what but actually. That, but like I said, so. that's about the only. thing. Thing. <laughs> the only thing about it, like I said, I understand where they're coming from because in that whole medical field, because sometimes you got to try, especially with the days thing going on with with you have head traumas. People sometimes shock. I know what head trauma is like. You know, I've suffered many of them, and I suffered my the major one through a motorcycle wreck. I know what head trauma is like. I know how sometimes it takes certain things to jolt the brain. Yeah. I, so I can understand why they they go to one spot, but there, there is there is some. What can you say some old fashioned ways that they deal with things, you know, like they you know, they go in and do the yeah. remove part of the brain, yeah, the, uh, the lobotomy, lobotomy. lobotomy. You know, and that they talk about some of that stuff. Uh, shock therapy well. where they actually shock send therapy, a, you know. Uh, so but they try this new and, approach. And, and, and they don't even really do that much anymore. No. I believe that's very extreme cases yeah. and it's but much more simple. Great you know movie. Great movie. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so of course. we're gonna say here and we're um, gonna say I'm gonna ask. What did you like about it the most? Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. The atmosphere. I like the atmosphere. You like that scene in my graphic? Yeah, the atmosphere, the shots, and things like that. 
I like how they weren't afraid to get down and dirty with the camera work. They weren't afraid to get down and dirty with the cinematography, the set design. I feel like it's one of those eye candy movies. You can't take your eye off of anything. Mm. But that's good because that's my thing because in the first opening scenes one before, you know, he's on the boat. Yeah, they're on the boat. Okay. Headed, on, yeah. headed to the island and he's sitting there puking up everything, you know, and it's, you got that, that storm. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest thing that sets this whole movie yeah. off and sets it apart. You know, and also, you, you, each storm's coming. And also, you could probably stick this into the film noir saga, too, because it takes place right at that era of, what, the 1950s? It was supposed to be around the... Um, I think it was the 1950s sure. or 40s. I can't remember exactly. But at but the same time, that's right around that area, those detective dramas. And things like that, where you but had that atmosphere. That's where, again, another genre out there, detective, you know, yeah, detective uh, investigation, yeah, that sort of thing. I mean, I said it is, and it's very good. And you had some, like I said, some some good uh, all star cast in it. You had, like I said, even even to me, the uh, the whole setup, every place where they filmed at, in uh, it was it was like it just fit each each yeah, time, the, yeah. the prison. Uh, uh, where of course they had you know, the fight scene. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where you know they, they had to go from from one building to the next, and each yeah. building was set up. Did you actually felt it when you got there? That this building, this is a building, this is a B building, this is a C building. Each one as you go has a different thing. And it gets yeah. darker as you go, and as you get into it, the yeah. Time, and dark and it is. you know again the good cinematographics. I mean, so, and thing. I mean, I feel like they used every tool cinematically the right way to create this film and that's what I, and that's the filmmakers that I love is to see them use every tool that they can but also not overdoing it overdoing it yeah and that's good so alright so Leonardo Leonardo Leonardo, Leonardo I DiCaprio I have been that's a, I'm just coming <laughs> off sorry I won't go to apologize I'm coming off a TDI headache where I was out all day yesterday with it and it's one of those blinding headaches and uh, so I'm still recuperating from that one. Um, but I got back in work this My, morning, uh, so I just want to say I apologize for that. But Leonardo DiCaprio, well, they got my sure I got it. Ben Kingsley, Ben Kingsley, Mark Ruffalo is the three main stars. And, yeah, and, and they are, like I said, and they work well together. Everything worked out great. Shutter Island. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Shutter Island. For, all right. For entertainment purposes, one to five stars. I'm gonna give it four and a half, and I'm gonna explain why. All right, you have to sit down and watch the whole movie for one sitting, and a lot of times, it's hard to actually sit down and watch a movie for one sitting. That's the only drawback. Other than that, the movie's fine. Okay. I, I give it a four and a half. And, and and that's about my only tear away. Because uh, I'm going to go the opposite direction. I'm going to give it a five just because of that. Because you have to sit and watch it. I, and because that's what the whole thing is to get you to understand from point A to point B. Right, right. And I'm right. going to that's why I'm going to give it a five. Because I mean, that was the reason why. And I mean, I, mean, I, I don't like it. it. I don't like it. But I understand the whole concept because. Yes, yes, yes. So. Well, it's like watching The Village. I mean, you kind of have to sit down and watch that right, whole We'll do that one later. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, so I've got five for entertainment. We're not going to worry about, about truth because we know or, or yeah, history. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. history. I mean, there. it's just whatever. It's just a movie. So, All great, right, popcorn, so, one to ten. The popcorn award from one to ten is that if you listen in our popcorn award based on the whole overall view of everything, uh, the cinematographics, the entertainment, um, would you watch it again, uh, all, all, all that good stuff. So, 1 to 10. I'm going to give it a 10. You're going to give it a 10. I'm going to go that mile to giving it a 10 because they, when I first saw the movie, and then having to watch it again and sit through that, and I mean, I don't have a problem seeing through movies, but I know there are people out there that do. But, um, sitting through it, and watching everything, I looked at it, first of all, from an audience standpoint, and then the second time of watching it all the way through, I looked at it through a cinematic standpoint of 
somebody being who is a filmmaker. A, yeah. At being a filmmaker, I like to see the way things are done. And I saw really interestingly somebody that really enjoyed making this movie because I can tell you can tell with certain films when either a director is going through a lot of stress and a lot of problems making a movie, but at the same time they're enjoying it, and it's a challenge. Especially to the editor, man. Like, yeah, and I and I and I and my hats off to the editor just, for, this, yeah, for this. Like I said, I give it a ten because they used every tool. They used every piece of um, cinema. I mean, they were being a perfect man. I mean, I just, that's, that's, that's why I'm giving it a ten. Get <laughs> ten as well because that was the one thing that if you can keep my interest, yeah, in the movie, yeah, keep yeah. me awake, yeah, in the movie, uh, you got you got me. And like I said, one thing that you don't want to do is you, or one thing that you need to do before you go watch it. Go to the bathroom, take your little wee wee break, make your popcorn, make, make your you popcorn, drink. you drink, have have your whole thing set out for just and because when you're just watching, you're, you're gonna, gonna be sit there on that sit couch there <laughs> until you play. That way you can watch it. So that's what I want to say. I mean, say, yeah, yeah. It is that. Prep yourself. It's that good, but you're gonna have to prepare yourself to watch it. So, all right, with that, for myself, for my. Oh, let's try right here, Mr. Whatever they okay, Mr. Godzilla. Uh, and want to give a big shout out to uh, our sponsor, Game Store, Store and, and More, Marion, North, North Carolina. Carolina, North Carolina. All righty, well, love peace and chicken, chicken grease. grease. We're out of here. <laughs>